Hello guys, today my speech is about the decriminalization of drugs in Portugal. As you may know, the world has entered a new age of narcotics. In the last couple of decades, drug abuse has become more common than ever. According to the Foundation for a Drug-Free World, which is a non-profit public benefit corporation, they estimate that 208 million people worldwide consume illegal drugs. Drug addiction has become one of the biggest issues that society faces today, and we're clear clearly experiencing a worldwide epidemic. As we all know, every country approaches this epidemic in a different way. For example, countries like China have very harsh policies, and countries like the Netherlands take a very liberal stance on narcotics. The United States currently have one of the harshest drug policies called the drug the war on drugs, which costs the country billions of dollars per year. In this speech, I'm going to provide evidence to show that other countries can benefit from the criminalizing drugs like Portugal, or at least from adopting a similar approach. First, it is important to understand the difference between decriminalizing and legalizing, legalizing, as they often get mixed. According to the dictionary, legalization is the action of making something that was previously illegal permissible by the law. And decriminalizing means that criminal penalties are removed for acts related to drugs such as acquisition, possession, and consumption. So basically, Production, trafficking, and drug sales are still illegal. And the police's primary focus is on making sure that none of these activities occur. In other words, the police force in Portugal no longer wastes its time catching addicts. They now focus on the main problem, meaning drug traffickers and drug dealers. With this new approach, uh, Portugal has shifted its attitude toward addicts. They no longer see drug users as the main problems. They see them as sick and people in need of treatment. According to the Minister of Health, drug users are sick and they do not have control over desiring drugs as their brains have been permanently changed as a result of consistent abuse. For that reason, the government has invested in a number of institutional changes. The strategy main goal is to encourage dependent users to enter treatment. The most important feature that was created is the system of referral to a commission for the, the dissuasion of drug addiction. So what does it mean? It means that there are panels in every region of Portugal that anyone caught in possession of narcotics is ordered by the police to appear in front of of within 72 hours of being caught. The panels are made of three people, a social worker, a legal advisor, and a health specialist. Uh, they can either recommend drug treatment or a drug educational program. The drug treatment is possible, think of an increase in the creation of halfway houses, rehab facilities, and detoxification centers. Portugal has made other changes too, for example, increasing the number of schools that provide drug education. Another important thing that we said before is the role of the police, who are no longer wasting its time catching addicts in the street. They focus now in the main problem. Over the years, social scientists and scholars have conducted numerous studies to provide empirical evidence to show whether Portugal's decriminalization law has been a success. So, according to those authors, they found compelling evidence to show the results of the policy. One, there has been a reduction of problematic and adolescent drug use. Second, fewer people were arrested and incarcerated for drugs. Three, there's a reduction of HIV and AIDS. And fourth, there's a reduction for drug-induced deaths. So in this graph, we can see before the policy and after the policy, how the drug, the dead induced, the dead, the drug, drug induced dead have become, to, uh, have started to lower. Okay. Uh, currently, the United States has the highest le highest level of illegal cocaine. Um, cannabis and opioids in the world. 
Those statistics reflect the underlying issue that the United States is facing, which is that the government is spending too much time and money on punishing people for drugs and less money and time on trying to help these individuals with drug habits. It is clear that if the world came together and took on a similar stance on drugs as Portugal, then we could collectively help addicts recover and stop the production and sales of drugs by focusing world police efforts on arresting the individuals who make and distribute substances. Decriminalizing drugs takes on a health-oriented approach that enforces the well-being of humans and acknowledges the addiction as a disease rather than disregarding humans being health and allowing the disease of addiction to manifest and spread around even more. Thank you.